Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What changed in the second half of the fight? It started off tactical and then you heated up. What changed in the second half? Like after the knockdown, the fight came on. Because I've seen his best. And I knew that I had more to give, but I knew that his best wasn't, you know, the worst thing that I had expected. And my confidence grew as the round went on. Um, and he liked to show it. I stood there when he was going to but no one does that. So, uh, yeah, I've done that a little more uh, in the first half of the uh, I have to go back to the table to see it, but at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. The, the, triple, G, the triple G had an effective jab on you? Was his jab uh, as good as everybody says? No, I mean, he didn't, he didn't, um, it was a good jab, don't get me wrong. It's, I have, I'm not a guy who gets landed with a lot of jabs because of my range and stuff like that. But he was able to land a couple more jabs, you know, more than I'm normally hit with. It seemed like, it seemed like in a certain round, he, hit, he got you with, I think it was the ninth round, he got you with a good jab that stunned you a little bit. You backed up no, I put my head back. Yeah. You know, I put, I put my head back, but none of his jabs uh, hurt me. Uh, but they, they were effective. Yeah, times it was effective. Yeah, I can't deny that. Okay, I got one for you. Did his power? What's up, brother? You, you didn't even ask me a question. I, I did they didn't give me the give me mic. So uh, talk to me. Congratulations on a superb performance. Now, how motivated were you based on the just the criticism you received, the Dimitri Perot fight, the Barag fight? That's what a lot of people brought up. Yeah. So I, I seen you in the ring. You were like, come on, come on, when he was landing. So you, you were almost fighting possessed. So yeah. just just explain how motivated you were based on. I was that. extremely motivated, and I Done. knew, and I taught myself, and I trained my mind and my body to not give in. And like I said before, the way everybody made his power out to be wasn't it? I mean, it was a, he's a strong guy. He's a heavy-handed guy, but he's not the most powerful guy that I've ever fought or been in the side of the ring with. Um, so my idea was just to go in there and mentally. Uh, confuse him, out jab him, out box him, and at times push him back to get that respect. And I noticed you did that. You pushed him back, and that's when he was uh, effective. What was your biggest takeaway from just being in the ring with Golovkin? Was there something he did better, or maybe even worse than that you that you thought? Uh, I don't take. I, I know I'll have to go back to the tapes to see that, but I mean I think the best thing that he has done in the fight wasn't the pressure wasn't really the power, but it was maybe the jab, maybe the jab, but at the end of the day, like, I'm happy with my performance. I really felt like I won the fight, and at the end of the day, if we can do it again, I'm happy with it. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. I got to go. Okay. Yeah.